<laughs> they will definitely do this, these lads. I wouldn't argue with them. You bet takes to the snow. And there's last week's forfeit to be paid. Who's your favourite presenter, then? Uh, Chris Tarrant. Oh, lovely. <laughs> And now, here's your host on You Bet, Matthew Kelly. Hello and welcome to the show. We've got an amazing lineup for you tonight, despite all the problems. Unfortunately, you won't be seeing bus driver Fred Tomlinson, who claimed he could jump over 75 motorbikes placed end to end using a London transport double decker. <laughs> uh, it was all going fine, his run up was great, he hit the ramp beautifully, and then tragically, as he was flying through the air, I gave him a little wave, and you know what it is? Bus driver's training, request stop, Fred slams on the brakes, <laughs> so the mid-air misses the ramp. <laughs> Still, the four buses that arrived at the same time as Fred managed to do it. <laughs> Apologies also to the domino devils of Rye Slip, who claimed they could construct the longest ever domino chain in under a day. How unfortunate. And how surprising that only an hour away from completion, that freak event should happen. No shame, lads. I would have panicked as well if I'd seen a 15-ton double-decker bus sliding towards me on its roof. <laughs> Get well soon! And sliding towards us now are celebrity guests, all 15 tons of them. Sex symbol, intellectual and international model. My first guest is none of these, but he is available. Ted Robbins! <laughs> in Liverpool. We've dug him up tonight. Please welcome perfect scoundrel Brian Murray. And finally, he's down my doorstep tonight. Please say, where are you, Paul Ross? Welcome to the show. Welcome, welcome, very good. welcome. Very good. Stand up, yeah. stand up. Me? Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. Have you ever seen... A number ten in human form. <laughs> <laughs> That's your gag on a dick I know that. I don't care what about. You don't mind at all, do you? Now then, what do you get if you cross Salvador Dali and the Sundance Kid? You get this, you know, good sidewinder. <laughs> the answer is, of course, paintball. Matthew Hook, Richard Bowne, Gary Chubb and Steve Williams are all expert marksmen with paintball guns. Paintball, of course, the game where two teams of adults dress up in camouflage, chase each other through the woods and shoot each other with paint. <laughs> Sounds brilliant to me. This, as you can see, is a stencil of the u -Bet logo. It's 2.4 metres high and 3.6 metres wide. Our shop shooting team's challenge is to first colour in the U in red and then the bet in blue, and all in just two minutes. This is Paul's challenge. Paul, why are you back in this challenge? Well, I've seen these guys practising this afternoon and they've been having a go at Ted's shirt. Yes. And as you can see, <laughs> they're spot on marksmen, so they're going to get a big, a big fat, with respect, Ted, yes. For <laughs> Sizes, wasn't it? Yes, I think so. Brian! Hmm, yes, well, I don't know, really. If there was a maybe, I'd press that. I'll go, I'll say no, just simply to be different, really. Just to be decisive. Oh, sorry, that's not at all popular. Watch your back on the way out. Press your no button. Thank you, Andrew. Oh, this is a bit weird, isn't it? I think these lads are in need of therapy. <laughs> well, I mean, you have people writing in, presumably to the studio, saying, I've always had this great ambition to spray to, to, to uh, stencil red and blue paint on uh, you bet on a television studio wall. I mean, what kind oh, of Oh, it mind? happens all the time. I'll say yes and wish them good luck and a long life in a padded cell. Oh, <laughs> that's good. Thank you. Right. <laughs> Thank you. They might have a word to say about that. Ted! They will definitely do this, these lads. They are hot stuff. Oh, yes. Well, after all that, Gay bandage. There are three yeses and one no. Let's see what our audience here think. Place your bets now, please. 
And don't forget you can play this at home. Do you all know what paintball is? No, it's all good. I think it's to do with going around shooting people with paint or fight. Oh, look. No. Oh! say yes and only 11 say no so let's meet them please welcome Richard Baum, Gary Chubb, Matthew Hook and Steve Williams <laughs> OK, Richard, what are the origins of paintball? Well, the story goes that um, a few years ago, a group of Canadian foresters used to use oil-based paint pellets fired from air guns to mark trees that were diseased and due for felling. One day they decided to have a bit of a muck about, and paintball evolved from there, really. I see. Well, uh, people's perception of paintball is, in fact, war games, really, isn't it? Steve, is that a correct perception? It's not a war game, it's a game where two teams go out onto a field, both with a paintball gun and a flag, and the idea of the game is to capture the other person's flag without getting shot out by a paintball. Any way you get hit is uh, and you're called out for that game. So, what do you wear for this? Uh, you wear a variety of things, boiler suits and uh, these goggles here with head protection as well. So, so you don't wear the flat jackets or...? No, no. Or the it doesn't hurt fatigue. that much, it's not dangerous. Well, all right, let's, let's have a look at these guns then. Here we go. Well, this is a paintball gun. Um, the paint goes in the hopper on the top, yeah. feeds down into the gun. Yeah. The gun's operated from a, a gas cylinder yeah. filled with compressed gas. Yeah. And all you do is point it and pull the trigger. Oh, yes, it's a game for anybody, this, isn't it? <laughs> that easy. That easy. Well, what about the actual uh, pellets themselves? Well, Let's have a look. These are really hard, these. Does it hurt when you get hit with these? No, not really. <laughs> <laughs> not, what does not really mean? <laughs> um, like that. Ah. <laughs> I thought they were like those little things that you pop in the bath. <laughs> <laughs> now, safety is a very big factor in this, isn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yes. Yeah, so you've got, uh, as Steve pointed out, you've got yes. those. And, and the goggles. Uh, you need the goggles. And do you wear any other headgear? Well, yes. Oh. If I'm... Um, obviously, these are just for tonight, but normally when I'm playing, you'd wear face protection, cheek protection, throat protection. Right. Now, you've only got two minutes in which to do this challenge. Mm. How many rounds are you going to have to fire? Um, probably, on average, about 600 each. Oh! Loads. Aren't you going to get tennis elbow finger? <laughs> mm. I want to be careful. Now, you're going to need a loader. Uh, will you please welcome your loader, Joe Firth! <laughs> this is... A cracking challenge. I wish you a lot of luck with it. Could we have the equipment and take your places, please? Thank you. <laughs> Prepare. Take aim. <coughs> Fire.
Remove the screen, please. Well done. Well done, Richard. Well done, Matthew. Well done. Fabulous. Excellent. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. I'm sorry oh, to Paul. tell you <laughs> that that's the first time, Paul, that I have ever seen them do that because you didn't manage it all day, you didn't did you? Do it all day. No. no. Oh, well, thanks for <laughs> taking the chance with me then. Well done, mate. Well done. In fact, I've got a back bedroom that needs doing. So, <laughs> well done, Richard. Thanks very much. Cheers. Great sport. Well done, lads. Splendid. Thank Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, Paul Richard Sharon, Richard Allen, Gary Sharp, Matthew Hawkes, Steve Williams, and Joe Firth. Well done. Thank you. See you later. No forfeit and 89 points. Brian, you were wrong. This is not a good start for you because there are loads of points going here. Andrew, you get 89 points as well because this is going to look good on the board at the end. Ted, you were right to say yes and you get 89 points too. Thank you. And, of course, 89 of our audience were right and those 89 points will be added to all the others at the end of the show. The points will be turned into pounds and donated to charity. Right. Come on, you Reds!